Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Last time I was talking about how it's good to share the musical journey and I realised that as a music tutor I get to share in so many learning journeys and it really is a privilege. I do really count myself lucky to do this. It's, it's really an opportunity to count my blessings because you know, a week can be so busy, days just fly by and then each week the planets align and we get to kind of meet for this little brief moment of calm and we'll play music and talk about music and learn about music together and then we'll spiral off into whatever orbit our life demands of us until next time the cycle comes round again. It's such a joy because, you know, I remember so many years ago, I can still tangibly remember feeling consciously, ardently that I want to understand that, I don't understand that, you know, and feeling on the edge, on the sidelines, but really wanting to be part of, in the swim of all things musical. And I'm so grateful to those who taught me and have encouraged me and have sort of brought me on board, as it were. And, and it's such a great privilege to do the same. And it's not kind of from this patronising, lofty position of, well, I'm this great authority and I shall now pass down to you these droplets of wisdom. I guess there's an element of, well, I've got some knowledge and I'd like to share that with you. But sometimes it could be... Um, more of a, I don't know, let's find out. And this is why I just love being a music tutor so much because you may well have plans of, right, okay, next week in your sort of educational progression, we will do X, Y, Z. But then the next week will come around and a chance comment will then spiral us off down goodness knows what rabbit hole as long as it's music you know it's all good it, it's all good and you know we're not sort of paying piecework by the bar it's a generic lesson that we are spending time together to just learn and, and, and just move on our musical journey you know the other day I was doing a piano lesson and just a chance comment came up, oh yeah, we're singing this in choir too, you're playing this and we're singing this. And, and something about the conductor, it's like, do you know, I'm always fascinated by conductors, how does that work? And then we talk about, you know, downbeats and conducting and anacrusis and we look at the carol that she's playing and that's the upbeat and then the composer goes down. It's like, well, you know, that was uh, something I could not have planned as a, as a lesson plan, as it were. But that was really, really insightful and helpful. And I think because it's that organic learning journey, who knows what's around the corner? And, and I just love that. I really love it. It's a bit kind of by the seat of your pants sometimes, but that's okay. That's all good. I do remember one young man, lovely young gentleman, he said to me one lesson, there was a bit of a light bulb moment. I can't even think what it was about now. And he says, do you know, I learn something every week when I come for a lesson and I laughed and I just said well I should think you did that's what uh, lessons are for you know that's why you're here to learn something why do you think you go to school every day he went, oh yeah I suppose I suppose you do yeah I've never thought about that it's like if you weren't learning anything well I'd be in trouble I think wouldn't I not much point is there if you're not learning anything although sometimes I do say things it's like I wonder you learn anything at all the way I sometimes teach it's like welcome to my brain so a, a young lady was having a piano lesson years and years ago instead of I'd said that's the way yeah that's the way she thought I'd said that's the Ernie and we just fell about laughing and you know years later that has stuck so every time something's right I will say to her that's the Ernie and uh, yeah that's it and one time we were talking over this piano piece and it was kind of octave up octave down octave up octave down I said in my head that makes rectangular box shapes with my left hand in the bass clef and so whenever she comes to that point it's like box box 
And it's like, I'm so glad that makes sense to you because if it doesn't, that would be so confusing. Yes, this section of this Beethoven piece is boxes. However, if it's helpful to you, do take it. If it's not, well, just ignore it and just carry on and read the notes. That's fine. Beethoven's given you all the information you need if my little add-on extras are not helpful. Or I'll get carried away by, you know, like one of the tuition books and they've got little illustrations. So, you know, I love that picture there. It's an arrangement of jingle bells. I said, I can... Do you want to colour it in? I'll just print you one off, like a, not the music, but just the print. And you can, you've, you've got the book, but so you're not spoiling your book, I'll print you one off and you can colour it in if you like. And it looks like Narnia. So if you want to um, just change some little bits and have some little Turkish delight drops here and all that, and it's like, okay, um, shall we get back to Jingle Bells now? And it's just so great to build up a relationship and I really do count my blessings with that. It's good to communicate as well. So there's inevitably a little bit of chat in a lesson time. And I don't think that's wasting time at all because we need to communicate. It's good to be comfortable together. Surely you will play better if you're amongst friends. You know what's a wrong note amongst friends, that's okay. But also, you know, I'll say, oh, hi, how are you? Have you had a good week? Anything exciting to report? You know, it, it's good to know that because if you've had a really, really rubbish week, and these things do happen, or I'm just so busy and I've just not done a bean of practice. Well, that's helpful to me to know, to kind of, to adjust my expectations. Or, you know, if there's trouble going on and you've got problems, I, I perhaps would do with knowing that so that I can just pair back and, you know, it's life happens. And there's no good just sort of kind of smacking my ruler over your fingers and, you know, do practice, practice, practice you know we're not machines are we and so it, it's so it's so good to just share each other's lives just for just for a little bit and then off we go and get on with the life again and hopefully we've learned something along the way hopefully in a lesson you've learned something and there's always something new to learn isn't there so even though yes I am the tutor I too am also needing to learn and I will learn from you and I will learn from those who have taught me before and continuing to help me. I learn from just, just listening and you know there's always something around the corner and so I'm so grateful to be sharing this exchange of information and maybe you know the bias is on one side as me as the tutor but that's not always the case. And so I'm so grateful to be sharing this learning journey with you. Hopefully, in addition to that, we've enjoyed sharing music and we've just shared this music journey. And after saying, as I did last week about sharing the music, share your journey. I'm so grateful to share the journey with so many people. And it's the same whether it's practical or whether it's theory. You know, we're always peeling back the layers of music one way or another whether it's kind of local pupils or whether it's more, more remote, you know, it's, it's neither here nor there. It's just journey of music learning. And I so enjoy sharing that with you. So thank you. Thank you. And uh, yeah, keep learning. Mm -hmm.